All right. Hello. Good evening to everyone. Or maybe it's morning time for you, but I don't know. It is evening for me. If anybody is here, how are you doing? Rachel, hello. Hey, Dub. Thanks for live streaming this. For sure. Uh, it came out at a pretty good time, actually. Because um, I just got back to my computer. And it just so happened that the new update went live. So here I am. Uh, let me drink some water before I go into this mode for the first time. I already saw some people going into it. I guess a bunch of people are just farming wheat. I don't know. We'll see what I'm able to do, what I'm not able to do. Um, hopefully nothing breaks. And you know what? Let me get this background music going. Unless we listen to the town star music, but... I listened to it so so many times already that um <laughs> I prefer this. Okay. Okay, all right. Ursula, what's up? Okay, let's just go common ground. It's on the left. I thought it was in the middle for some reason. Um so we get a forest, river, mountain. Interesting. So what? There's never going to be a uh, ocean in here? Never. I find it interesting that they just didn't add the ocean. But we'll see what it's about. Pogopogo, hello! You know, I almost never see you on the stream, so what's up? Hello, 9.45 a.m. here in Japan. That's why you live in Japan time. Okay, nice to see you here. So, first... It looks normal. Um, Offline mode is always on. That's why there's no way to toggle it. And there is no auto sell. Uh, I don't think they ever mentioned that, but yeah, there there is no auto sell. It looks like they changed the icon here. Don't really know what those are. And I have wheat. And the dude makes wheat. Okay, the well only takes thirty seconds. I thought it would take more. Strange. I do have wheat, which oh, you only start with five hundred. No, you only start with three seventy five. Interesting. Do I need the weed for anything else? No tutorial, so I wonder if... Um, they said the new players would get a tutorial. It seems like my NFTs do affect the sell prices, so let's look at my NFTs first. Crypto Val, hello. Michael M, hello. Would you like to officially say your goodbyes to town? Sorry. <laughs> Oh, it, this is still town started me, guys. This is renamed. I'm still probably going to call it town start all the time. But I suppose, Michael, goodbye town star, hello common ground world. What am I doing here? Why why is this like all over the place? What what's going on here? I'm I'm going to put on my ghost cards cuz why not, right? take this one step at a time so my enchanted ornaments seem to work they reduce the build costs i'm assuming the ghost cards work that's why i'm putting them on i must eventually i'll do all of them legendary crafty silver knowledge all right i just got that one. Yeah, this is this is usually why I don't put on all my ghost cards in the competition. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my corrupted luxury pack. I can never take those off, but, but this is gonna be a permanent town, right? So I'm never gonna need to restart it if everything goes to plan. How many ghost cards do I have? Feels like I Turned them all on already. Okay, there we go. No Express Depot. Okay, yeah. Um, I saw Smiling Monster mention that. So I can't get rid of my Trade Depot. Can I place my Dragon? Let's see. Okay. This is all over the place. Uh, whoops. Give me a second. Placing my hatchet, hey? Oh, that's a tree. And it takes 15 minutes, eh? That's interesting. So they don't start you off with wheat. Oh. 
Okay. Alright, so they said no express... Yeah, you're right. Hey, but my dragon's here. I got my dragon. I can sell in batches of 25. I understand I don't really need to do that right now. I wanted to see if I had a windmill NFT, I would make some flour. Actually, maybe that would take too long. Okay. I'm just trying to process all this. Like, maybe, can I get rid of this? I probably shouldn't, though. Why can't I click it? I'm having a really hard time clicking this. Okay, there we go. So let me think about what I can do here. First of all, I don't think I need all these roads. Roads only cost 75. Okay. I feel like these roads are a waste of space, right? Like, I do not need that many roads. So let me get rid of this road. And I want to put down my Panner family. I I I'll put down the Mama Panner for now. I mentioned this on the stream, but I want to do a gold rush. Am I... Is it actually going to let me do a gold rush? Is what I want to find out. So in order to do that... I'm placing down my jewelry NFTs. Can I use Oopsie? Yep. Oh. Will I get more cash? Yeah, oopsie will give me more cash. I'm just gonna sell the wheat. I don't think I need it for anything else. Oh, they got a... Cool, they put in the timer. Thank goodness. I know people kept asking about that. They finally put in a timer. It's different than the one that we had before, but that works. So this should build immediately. I know I have a gold storage NFT. I could probably just use that instead. Yeah, that worked. Oh, can I even afford gold? 3,750? I should be able to after I sell the weed. Green Forge. You guys think this will work? 524 seconds, eh? That's about 10 minutes. Alright. I'm not gonna need to make any wood. So that's good. I'm gonna be... I might be the first person to ever do Gold Rush. In Common Ground. You know what? I don't think I need this builder. I have a crane bot. But how expensive is the builder? Pretty expensive. I mean, everything's gonna be expensive to me right now, right? No fountains either. Well, that's a shame. What about water towers? Oh, I have water towers. So, like, I can just place this down... You know, somewhere. Let me... Oh, I, I know where to place it now. Place it down here. There we go. Five minutes. Wait a minute. Why does it give me a tree farm but it doesn't give me a witch shed? What the heck? I just realized that. Hey then. I'm trying to process things here. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Good thing I have my own witch shed. How much does a witch shed cost? Like, how is that even fair for... 1,500? I guess you could buy a witch shed. That doesn't seem very fair that you don't start off with a witch shed, does it? Right? How is that fair? Explain, explain to me how that's fair. Okay, um, next thing. Cool. This can't be next to any shade, but, um... No, the farmhouse casts two shade. 
Actually, does it even matter? I, I don't know how much it'll affect the craft times here. It might not. I'll put it here. So I need one wood. Oh, right. Um, I didn't have a wood set, so I lost a piece of wood. So you guys, we're gonna have to wait for minutes. <laughs> it doesn't make sense that you don't start off with a wood shed. What the heck? I'm glad you start off with the silo. I understand not starting off with a storehouse. I actually do understand that. But a wood shed? Not starting off with a wood shed? That's kind of crazy. They give you the tree, which is the funny part. But they don't give you the wood shed. They might as well start you off with a wheat field, not a tree. I'm gonna try to make sugar is sap. That's a good idea. And you got the windmill in FC, huh? You got the spooky windmill. See, if I wanted to do flower rush, I would need to build the windmill. And early on, I guess you get enough cash to build the windmill, but you don't get enough cash for both the windmill and the woodshed. So you got to pick one or the other. Anyways, yeah, I want to wait until the tree farm is done. Then it builds a gold penny. So I, I want to see if I can start a gold gold rush. There's not going to be a whole lot that I can do here other than see which NFTs are here, which ones are not. And that's going to be kind of tricky. If you guys want me to check if a specific NFT is here, you can let me know. Not like I have all of them, but I have a couple. Another thing, hold on, actually, an energy rush would be a pretty good idea, I think. Do I need the silo? I have a silo NFT, I don't even need the silo. Uh, also, I want to make another tree. You know what, I don't even need the farmer. Yes, I don't need the farmer. What? I'm trying to be very careful, but like I really don't need the farmer. I can move this over here somewhere. I'll move it to the corner. Honestly, I don't even think I need the well. We'll see. I don't think I need the well though. Okay, next idea, energy rush. So I can put... Let me move this around. It's going to be moving stuff around. Oh, change my mind. Five minutes. Well... That's probably faster than the wind turbine. I can assure you that's faster than wind turbine. I wonder how long the wind turbine takes. I think like 20 minutes, possibly. Okay, let me put down my green forge again. Something doesn't seem right, guys. <laughs> Something don't seem right. I think we ran into a little issue. I'm gonna refresh the game, alright? See money, hello. Can you still use NFTs? Yeah, I'm using NFTs, trust me. I'm gonna do a gold rush with my NFTs. Something you're definitely not supposed to do, but... I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Uh, I'm gonna... Oh, connecting. Oh, they got rid of the spinning tea, guys. No more spinning tea. It's a spinning globe now. We, we're gonna call it the spinning globe, okay? Let me go into Discord. I got the spinning globe. Okay, I'm gonna refresh it. Let me put it on pause so y'all don't get flashed with the white screen. Oh, there you go. Refresh. Okay. Town Star! Yeah, see, money. I'm gonna try to use my NFTs to do a gold rush there. And every couple of hours or every day, I'll check up on it. I'll sell some gold, get cash, 
eventually make a wine bottle rush. It's gonna be a funny town. I'm not allowed to play Town Star, but I'm trying to play Common Ground mode. Also playing Champions Arena on my phone. That's why I'm looking down. Let me see. I can try to refresh it again. I'll look in the Discord as well. Is anybody actually checking out either Common Ground mode or you're trying to actually practice for the, you know, the next competition? Because all of that info is also, also should be in the game now. And I think most of us in my Discord agreed that Sushi Boats was probably the way to go for the competition. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, we shall see. Let's go. Oh, Rachel, no sugarcane stand? That's so sad. You're trying to do sugar rush or the people trying to do jam rush are screwed. Andrew, what's up? Abandoned town number one. How did you mess up, Andrew? Did you get rid of your trade depot? Because that seems to be um, the thing that's messing people up already. Okay, I'm making any oh I made the uh this eight minutes eh so it would take 30 minutes to make one gold which I should um yeah this is probably something I won't check again until the morning oops I typed in gold uh but I'm setting it up now just so you can just so you guys can see what my plan is so I'm just gonna have one green forge for, for now, because I'm going to need a lot more gold panning sites. Actually, I can make another one. Yeah, I can make another gold panning site. With the limited amount of space I have. Put it here. Do I need the trade depot? Yeah, probably. Okay. I don't need this road. I really don't think I need the well. I do need these. These three roads I do need. Wait, why did I put the road here? I don't even need this road. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't need that road. Okay. I'm going to assume that I don't need the well. I don't need this road either. Okay, so that gives me that. You really want to try to make a build right here with... The least amount of roads possible because road movement speed doesn't matter here everything takes forever to craft so the minimum amount of roads as possible keep that in mind guys because clearly you don't need roads here for efficiency that is if you're trying to make your town look pretty i understand but you probably want to focus on efficiency because your town doesn't look pretty until you get rid of most of these spoiled soils Yeah, I see. Progressive leaves. Why does that one... Oh, it's because the trees are more expensive. Oh, okay, I see. The rocks are more expensive. And I guess it's because I have the enchanted fireworks, it's so much cheaper. So, the enchanted fireworks will finally actually be useful. Like, it can shave off days, probably even weeks worth of progress because of the amount of money it reduces in this. So yeah, that's a win for Enchanted Fireworks NFTs. One of the NFTs that I thought was the most useless, but finally, it will at least have some use here. Not like it's a competition or anything, but for the people who care about clearing out the map the fastest, there you go. So I have two, two of these, that's good. I need to put down Goldie. And I'm going to do that here, I guess. Does my mama panner pick up two of them? 
My YouTube is lagging hard too? Oh no. Oh, you made flour? Whoops. I was trying to do this thing and I typed it wrong. Shenra, you already made your first flower? Um, you, oh, you have the windmill NFT, huh? What's the thing in the upper right hand corner? My hatchet, Hank? Or wait, what do you mean? Oh, you, this? I have no clue, Rachel. I Instead of stars, they're giving us whatever that is. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but it's the replacement to stars. Maybe we'll be able to spend it. I wonder if I could have made a guide off this, but I really don't think people need a guide. Like, come on, this is... You, you make whatever you think it looks the best or is the most efficient. So... After like 20 minutes of work, I made one energy and I made one piece of wood. Oh, and I made two pieces of gold. Oh, so my, um, no, I made one piece of gold. Sorry. Goldie is supposed to give me one passive gold door. So yeah, I think I only made one piece of gold. Hmm. Okay. If Mama Panner is not going to double like pick up two gold doors, then I don't need to have her here. We'll, we'll see. I need to pay attention to that. Because Mama Panner is supposed to pick up twice as much gold ore. Unless Goldie picked up the ore. I, I wasn't paying attention. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Hurts a lot. Missing NFTs are bad. Can't practice or play without my haunted West Wing. Really? That's missing? When such an important NFT, and that's missing. B Rob, are they missing casual too, or just a new mode? Casual as well. Oh, yikes. Wheat stands are here. Should try making flower too. Patrick Candless, hello. Yeah, the Express Depot is minting. <laughs> missing. Sorry. Of all the NFTs, there's a couple missing, and they're one of some of the most important NFTs just happen to be missing. Wow. That's unfortunate, guys. That's, uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. Don't get rid of your trade depot because then you'll have to start over because you can't use the, uh, the express depot right now. Is there another way I can make cash? Something I'm not doing right now that I usually do? Let me see. How many days will it take for me to get to Wine Bottle Rush? Hmm, I wouldn't mind having a Glass Factory NFT now. <laughs> Is there any NFT rushes that some of you are doing that like you can pull off right away? Like I know Shanrat's doing flour. You can't do sugar because uh, there's no sugar cane stands, uh, apparently. I guess you could use the salt station, sugar station, flower station. Oak barrel rush, perhaps? Might work. Actually, yeah, this oak barrel rush might work. I'll check that out in a bit. Okay, I'm making gold. Shoot, I forgot to see who picked up that gold ore. Is Mama Panner not picking it up, or does her, does her ability just not work? Sugar goes in the silo. It's not supposed to. Sugar goes in the storehouse. But there, there's storehouse NFTs. Sugar Kang goes in the silo. I got rid of my silo because I'm just doing gold. I want to see how this works. I need to pay attention. Who is who is actually picking up my gold ore? It's going to take a while to uh, collect enough. Might need to build another gold panning site. Oh, 
Hold on. Let me see who picks this up. Yeah, Mama Penner's picking it up. Oh, it works. It works. Yeah, Mama Penner gave me two gold ores. It's supposed to do that. If I place down the entire Penner family, Mama Penner will get three ores. But that takes up too much space. I don't have that much space right now. I need Goldie because she gives one passive gold. She's supposed to give one passive gold ore. I don't actually know if she does. That That's important if, for me to check that. So I'm going to have to wait until this gold is done. But yeah, we'll, we'll just be chilling here for a couple minutes. Trying to think of other strategies that I can do. I mean, I could make more ch wood. Like, I'm making energy for way later. I can make wood so I can make lumber way later on. These bigger storages will actually help out. The, for, to carry a bunch of wood and oak wood and lumber and all that. I definitely do want to make more gold panning sites, though. Hatcha Hank is in charge of picking these. I could put down juniors, but that also wastes too much space. This will take care of all my water needs. Yeah, I'm not going to need any more water. I don't actually need the builder house if I'm not building anything. Hmm. Yeah, sugar cane for the silo. Token 7, hello. Is this a new game mode? Or like upgraded version of Townstar? It's, to be honest with you, it's still Townstar, but it is it is a new game mode, yes. And this is more of a casual game mode where it's actually going to take a long time for you to make progress with this game mode. That's how it is. It's kind of like other games like Farmville. Although right now, to be honest with you, it doesn't seem like there's that much unique stuff going on here. It's literally just like casual version of Counselor. They could add more stuff in the future for sure. But at least the idea is here. I mean, the idea is you slowly progress your town collect the cash that you need to restore the land and that way you can expand your town they're going to add a way where you can visit other people's towns look at how they're designing their town maybe send them resources maybe there'll be a way to trade resources so i can give you guys gold and you guys can give me i don't know flour or something who knows uh, similar, I think there was a similar concept in Farmville. You'd be able to trade resources with people. So yeah, there might be something like that. But they definitely do want this to be, to have more social aspects to it. What was I waiting for? Oh, for the gold to finish, that's right. Oak Barrel Rush. Is it possible to do an Oak Barrel Rush? And how would I pull it off? Hmm. I have like no space here to even... Like I even do anything. At least my mama panner's doubling my gold ore. That's really good actually. Um, hold on. It seems like I'm not doing anything, but I'm actually thinking. Um, so no, you don't actually need that. Hold on. Let me put down my, my sawmill. I'm thinking of something. Oak barrel rush. If you have passive energy and passive iron, and you have a great sawmill NFT, the only thing you actually need for Oak Barrel Rush is oak wood, which you just need oak trees for. Those oak trees are not too expensive. See, it's well, 750. You can you can do it. You can do an Oak Barrel Rush if you have the right NFTs for it. 
Yeah, you would need a solar panel or a Tesla coil for that. That's the thing. But you could do it. And oak barrels sell for a good amount of cash, so similar to gold. In the end, gold might actually be better and cheaper. But in order to do a gold rush, you need to have a green forge. Which anybody who owns a green forge right now, probably super happy. For the NFT, just any of the gold ore storages. Since you have the green forge, you don't have to worry about wood production. So you can, you could collect wood on the side to build other stuff. You are going to need to build a panner unless you have a panner NFT. But panner house is not that expensive, so that's not a problem. The ore storage is expensive. That's why you need the gold ore NFT. Oh, the warehouse. The warehouse is the problem. Warehouse is expensive. You would need a warehouse NFT in order to do this gold rush idea right from the start. So you need a green forge. You need a diamond warehouse or big warehouse. And I think that's it. If you have those two things, you should be able to do a gold rush. Now, if you happen to have Goldie, it's going to help out a lot more because that's your panner and also it reduces the amount of gold ore you need. So that would be way better. There you go. Gold Rush, best thing in casual, probably the best thing to do here too, honestly. I could make lumber. But then now we need to place down a lumber mill. Uh, I mean, no, sorry, not a lumber. Uh, lumber storage. And that's an another spot that I can't bother with like I, I don't have <laughs> I don't have space I would rather use that space to make more gold panning sites so there we go I'm gonna try to do that what play hello I sir dub I'm new to town star competition how long did the rewards reflect my account I'm gonna play the common ground world competition rewards usually go out the following week Patrick we don't need gasoline no you don't need to make gasoline you don't need gasoline to sell anything no gasoline in this mode there's also no wages and offline play or offline mode is always turned on so you can come back tomorrow and see how your town progresses there is also no auto sell so it forces you to actually come back to the game and check it every once in a while you can't like go on vacation you can't abandon this game for three weeks and expect to come back with a bunch of money that's not how it's gonna work you actually have to come back and sell stuff yourself a lot of people are not gonna realize that yeah oak barrel rush is a is a good idea but i think gold rush still beats it but you know i know i know some people have the nfts for oak barrel rush okay so i made gold damn i forgot to check if i had uh i'm pretty sure it gives one passive gold door i'm almost positive that's what I was going to check, but I am almost positive that he gives one passive gold ore. So whenever I get 10 gold, I'm going to get 51k. Ooh, that's going to be a big payday. Then I'll be able to get rid of two of these. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll be able to clear up two spots by two more gold panning sites. And yeah, pretty much that's it. <laughs> Pretty much. What if I sell a stack of energy? Yikes, that's almost no money. Stack of wood? It's not bad. It's, it's not terrible. Hold on, before I do that, haunted porch. I don't mention haunted porch. Uh, it's gone, huh? So none of the haunted ones, yeah. My, I don't, my haunted porch is not showing up. Good point, Kaido. That, that, that is a good point with the uh, pumpkins. That probably would have been viable. But unfortunately, it's not here. Damn. Kaido was onto something, but yep. The bugs, man. The bugs don't let us do that. Tatuis, what's up? The live stream is not working for me. It's frozen all the time. It's just for me. I have no idea. Everything else should... Everything here should be the same. So yeah, I have no clue. Sorry. Oh, Rog, hello. Are you aware that your rank got pushed to 103? Uh, yeah, oh, Rog, my I was ranked 101 when the competition ended, so at that point, I I was already top 225 anyways. 
it, I did hear that people... The, the points kept updating even after the competition ended, which is strange. B Rob, okay, I thought my phone was jacked up. It's YouTube. Maybe it is YouTube. Maybe they don't like me streaming at this time. I don't know. Digo, hello. I think oak would take too long to grow. I want to test it for you, Digo, and I think you were right. I actually do think you're right. It will take too long to grow. I'm not going to spend 750 just to test that. Because for once, I'm actually broke in this game mode. Look, I only have 1,926. I guess I'll name my town. Dubville, Dub City. What, what should I name it? What's a cheesy name? Dubtropolis. No, maybe something small for now. Um... Dub rush, dub gold rush. I have no clue. <laughs> what do you call the villages where you mine gold? Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Favorite gamer, hello. Or Michelle on Discord said if they can't fix the Express Depot before the competition, they might cancel the next competition. Yeah, that makes sense. Bunch of people have the Express Depot. That would be unfortunate, though. But it, it's either that or people complain that they can't use their one and only NFT. Because for some people, the Express Depot is your only NFT. Imagine not being able to fix such a what seems like such a simple issue, though. Like, it's just... Well, I guess even if they add the Express Depot, people would still be upset that they can't use the Haunted Graveyard and West Wings and Porch and all that. John Wright, yeah, I can't watch YouTube. It's jacked. It happened the other time last week, too. Oh, that's strange. I don't know why. Favorite gamer, not sure is verifying. Apparently, there are other ones missing as well. Yeah. Um, Rachel mentioned the sugarcane stand was missing. I don't know if it's the Christmas one or the Simplex ones. I assume probably the Simplex ones because they're older. Oh, look at that. I have a chocolate tear. This is my NFT on Galachain. Cool. What can I actually use here that would help me out for some reason? Rare Pottery Shop. Well, Tatuis is here. Tatuis would probably tell me to do uh, bowls, ceramic bowls. Problem is, I don't have that NFT that gives you passive clay anymore. So I can't do that. What else could I do? You know, maybe I'll have my town make gates eventually, so I can finally use that storage. And get go. I have a paved road. That's right. I could have just put down a paved road. No, well, that's it. Yeah. No other NFT here that would actually help me. The oak trees take like 45 minutes? Damn. Oh, it is simplex. Okay. Yeah, water fountain too. It makes me think that a lot of the old NFTs are having issues. It's all the old NFTs that aren't showing up. Oh, I can sell gold ore? How much does that give me? 8,400. It kind of doesn't make sense for me to sell gold ore though. Like I might as well turn it into gold. But if I sell gold ore now, I can make another gold panning site. 
so should I sell gold ore or wait till I have gold? <laughs> it's funny. There's not a whole lot to do here, but I've, I've already been here 40 minutes. You know what? I might just actually just wait until I get like 10 gold or something. I can go to casual and like try to make something. Try, uh, try to make like a gold rush. So I can have money for whenever I do practice for the competition. Like I, I, I'm still planning to make a no NFT build. Probably for sushi boats is what it seems like. Which I don't really like sushi boats. But that seems like the way to go. The express pier is in the game, but unfortunately... The uh, river is all the way... Over here. You know, that would probably be the way to go. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually cheaper to go over here. So the game wants you to do this. The game wants you to go over here. Get to the river. Not like you really need it, I mean... Everything only needs one or two passive water. And then eventually you get to the mountain, which you also don't need. I, just, I find it strange why they didn't give us an ocean, but at the same time, they probably got rid of Salty. Salty's probably not even a thing. You know, Shade's probably not even a thing. Like... I didn't test this out. Like, I don't know if Shade actually slows it down. Maybe it doesn't. Express Fear is newer. Yeah, that's right. I can sell 10 wood and build one more gold panning site. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I like the idea. Build one gold panning site that way. Green forge. Where can I put another green forge? I need more space. I have an idea, but I need to turn the green four jaw, unfortunately. So I want to use one road to place down four items. And that means I could have one road for this. And I could have one road for this. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm going to try to do it. I just have to wait until this green forge is done crafting gold. I don't want it to waste one gold. I'll wait. I'll wait seven minutes just to do that. Is this... Is it counted as play every day? That's a very good question, Kaido. I think so. But you should probably ask Farmer Michelle to make sure. But I think it is. You know, maybe I can... I don't know if anybody's asked Farmer Michelle that. Let me see. Oh yeah, I, I asked Farmer Michelle. We'll see if she gets back to me. Yes, it is cool. I figure somebody probably asked, but I don't know. I didn't see it. Let's see. She stated earlier all the modes count as daily pay. Awesome. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't know, but I'll take your word for it. I mean, I don't understand why it wouldn't. Oh, Jetty has a sugar rush. Okay. That's nice.
the sugar rush might actually be better than my gold rush. Five minutes. Slow and steady, guys. We're going to get rich. My plan is to clear all of this by the end of the week. <laughs> I was just kidding. That's not going to happen. You're welcome, Kaito. How long do you guys think it would take to clear all of this? I need somebody to check every tile and actually add up how much money we will need to clear everything. Because it kind of looks like one of these rows will cost 3 billion just to clear just one of those roads. Oh, master team. Did I update the playbook for the crap values? Yes. Yes, they are actually updated. I just didn't tell anybody yet. Whoops. The Town Star Playbook is still called the Town Star Playbook, guys. Unless you prefer the name Common Ground World and you really want me to change it. Which I don't know. I don't think people want me to change it. But yeah, uh, the Town Star Playbook is updated with all the new values for the next competition. For sure. Hold on. I'm waiting for this so I can change some stuff around. Sell some wood, build another gold panning site. That might actually be it, yeah. I'm just gonna do that. I'm just trying to set this up. Then I'll, I'll come back tomorrow and see what's up. Maybe I'll post daily updates of this on my Discord or something. See how everybody's doing. Do I even need the the earring? Oh no, yeah, yeah. The earrings reduce the craft time of the green forge. That's right. That's right. Anyways, I'm gonna sell the wood. I think I'll sell a batch of gold ore. Wow. Oh. Nah, no, never mind. Turn it all into gold. Take this up. This road. Gonna remove it and place it like so. Okay. Now. I'm going to move these. Right there. I'll move my oopsie somewhere else. Maybe right here. Oh, we'll see. It depends how this works out in a moment. Builder house doesn't actually need a road, but it, it casts shade. I, I don't know how much of an issue that'll be. Actually, I don't even need this road. Yeah.
you have an idea here. Faria Waters, so the name change is how significant as the game changed as well. It's a full rebrand. Oops, I hope I didn't lose one gold ore. But there we go. It's a yeah, it's just a it's a full rebrand. Not only the name. Let's see if I can make this work. Might as well use my road NFCs that I never use. Get rid of it later. Uh, okay, right. I can just use a crane bot. I don't need that builder. Have the crane bot here because the crane bot doesn't need a road. Get rid of the builder. Okay, now I can put down a green forge here, another green forge here, and another green forge here. Yeah. So now I have three green forges because I did that. Because I'm using subgrid placement. I'm going to move the oopsie over here where there's a little gap. Right here. Okay. Subgrid placement. This doesn't need a road, but I can't get rid of it. Well, well yeah, I can't get rid of it unless I want to sell in batches of 25. And right now I don't want to do that. I mean, I could just place down the dragon, though. I know that, but I, I don't want to do that right now. Oh, shoot. I forgot. Damn. I forgot to place down Goldie. Well, there goes like three gold ore. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Here's Goldie. Make sure she's far away so that the mama penner picks stuff up. Okay, never mind. I wanted, I wanted the mama penner to pick that up, but all right. Okay, that could have gone better, to be honest, but I, I set it up so I can have three green forges running. So there's that. Goldie's at the corner. Mama Penner's closer. I can have the four storage like that. And I have three more tiles. I'm going to make a gold panning site. I guess two more trees because I can't afford anything else. Or should I just wait until I have enough money to make another one? Yeah, I'll probably just wait. Right there, I have three gold panning sites. I want two more gold panning sites and then I'll be set. Really, I could have even more. I'm, I'm going to have these two trees just collecting wood until I get 150, I guess. And collect energy, because why not? If I want to do wine bottle rush, I'm eventually going to need a bunch of energy and lumber. So might as well start collecting for that. Wine Bottle Rush is going to take up so much space though, because I need to put down all three stands. So for, for the time being, for like the full month of October, I'm probably just going to be doing cold. Andrew bought the NFT trade boat at 50% off sale a few months ago. That will help. I suppose so, but what? how will it help here, Andrew? Because the, the river is over here. You're not going to get to the river anytime soon. The dragon will help. Oh, I can't type. I can't type. You know what? I'm just going to keep streaming this until I sell a stack of gold. How about that? <laughs> so feel free to hang out however long you want. Because this might take like half an hour. <laughs> what I could do is go to casual server and start up a gold rush there. I guess we can test out the offline mode that way.
So I got four of these running. Got three of these. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I guess I'll go ahead and make a tree. There. Look guys, I'm only using three roads. For all these buildings, just three roads. So you do not need a lot of roads. And I don't know if shade matters. I don't think it does. I don't have any shade here though. Half of this is NFTs. Make sure you place down oopsie. You have it. And yeah, I'll come back to this. I'll name it later as well. I don't know what to name it yet. Imagine abandoning your town after making like half a year of progress. Accidentally misclicking abandoned town after working on your town for half a year. Or getting hacked and somebody just logs in on your common ground world and just abandons your town. That would suck. Oh, it, does it still get stuck here? I think it still does. Yeah, I don't think they fixed that yet. I don't think they fixed that yet. Let me refresh it. Oh gosh. Bro, you just need like two water. I'm gonna go on casual for a bit so um I can start off a gold rush, I guess, so I can collect money, so I can build the no NFT rush later. Let's see what we got here. We got the river on the north, ocean on the... Sorry. Mountain on the north, ocean on the west, river on the south. I cannot delete the oil seep. I have to remember, don't delete the oil seep, because I'm going to be making a no NFT build. I can't remember when it was, but it, I think it was like two or three weeks ago. I was working on a no NFT build. I deleted the oil seep. And like 30 minutes later, I realized, oh, shoot, I actually need that. And I had to abandon my town and start over again. But good, the good thing, it was it, it was only after 30 minutes. So it wasn't that big of a deal. It could have been worse. Yeah, if you guys have any questions about the upcoming competition, let me know. I'm just doing this while I wait for my my ten gold and my common ground mode town. My persistent town, whatever we're gonna call it. Yeah, in the first three minutes are probably gonna be clearing all these out. Oh, the farmer has a cape now. That's fitting. Every gamer, will you post the build for this next competition? Yeah, that's the plan. I don't expect it to be like perfect or anything. But a good enough idea that will probably easily get people to top 600. Um, the only thing I didn't ask is... I I'm most likely gonna have to use nukes. I don't know if how people feel about nukes. 
Because you got to understand, there's some players that aren't that competitive. They, they don't want to waste a bunch of time building nuclear power plants. That is one thing I forgot to ask people. If they want me to use nuclear power plants or not. What are you making in the competition again? Probably sushi boats. It seems like the most competitive thing to do. At least for the no NFT build. For my personal build, I have not decided. I kind of don't want to make sushi boats. Some people were talking about wine and I got to look into how much wine I can actually make. And it would probably be sangria. Sangria gives the most amount of stars out of the wine chain production stuff. And, and you know, I have I have the corrupted sense to make the wine bottles of the oak barrel rush. I have the strawberry stand. The only thing I don't have is a way to make sugar fast. I don't have sugar stations. I don't have the sugar cane stands. So that's my only, the only thing I lack in the uh, sangria production chain, I guess. <laughs> if we're talking about all the NFTs. I have the hatchet Hank for the oak wood. So yeah, I kind of want to do sangria, you know. I don't know how competitive it would be. And at this point, I don't even, I don't even know if I get top 100. I didn't get it this week. Because it's it's hard to compete with the fishing stuff because I don't have a seaweed stand. But if I actually practice, I would have gotten top 100 for sure. So it, it just depends on how much practice I do. I'd rather prefer nuke than wasting money on the ice blocks. Well, that's the thing. You're, you're going to have to do ice blocks no matter what for fishing if you don't have the NFTs for it. There's no way around that one. Rachel, yeah, I'm sticking to sushi boats again. Gonna be using nukes this time, though. Oh, you didn't use nukes last time? Valentine Sand? Yeah, uh, sometimes I call them strawberry sands, but yeah, Valentine Sand. I, uh, actually, I don't have that anymore. <laughs> I just remembered. Whoops. I don't have that. No, no, I don't, I don't have that. Never mind. Rachel, you remind me. I don't have a Valentine Sand. I used to have one. Actually, I ended up selling it. Whoops. How's my gold rush go? Um, the fourth row, I think? With fifth row. You know, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna use my NFTs to sell gold. I don't, I don't have to do the whole gold rush without NFTs. I use my NFTs to make the money. And then I make the no NFT build. It's much faster that way, guys. Uh, that way I don't spend twice as long actually making the no NFT builds. But by the time the build is done, no NFTs are active. Like, I'm not using ghost cards. I make sure not to turn on my open corrupted packs. Because if I apply those, I cannot take them back off. The only way would be to abandon my town. And... At least, it's easier to work with the plains biome. I can just build all the roads straight right here. I'm just doing this so I can collect the money. I can work on this tomorrow. Favorite gamer, that's why I try to avoid the seafood builds as much as possible. Unless it's the requirement for the next event. Yeah. Put it here. What am I looking for? You know what? Let me just put the gold ore. The gold ore storage. Oh, it, hold, it holds 60 because of the ring. That's right. That's right. He 
You can't go wrong with the gold rush. It's this super power. It's as powerful as the oak barrel rushes or used to be. It, I think it does beat oak barrels slightly. Because it, it's cheaper to set up, in my opinion. Uh, Oak Barrel Rush, in order for it to truly be good, you need passive energy NFTs. As well as the Silent Ride. And really, you, you need a legendary Silent Ride in order to scale it up to really be good. Like long road. Did we have a sangria competition before? We did, but I can't remember when. It's been a while. I will do six of them. I don't think I need six of them, though. I'm gonna need a lot of money for this. Like, even if I left this running all night, it's not gonna be enough. But, uh, we'll see. Yeah, because all I can do tonight is just make some money to actually start on the build tomorrow. That's, that's the thing. Sushi boats take so long to build. And then any tweaks I had to make. There's the, uh, which shed is there? I'm gonna set up a place where I can actually store wood and lumber. And get rid of all of these. I forgot to sell my gasoline. place to store wood and lumber and energy I haven't decided if I'm gonna do fishing platforms or wild net fishing I kind of want to do fishing platforms because I don't usually do that if I do fishing platforms, then I can use the entire ocean for my seaweed. I would need to make twice as much fish jump, so I would need more seaweed, more shrimp. And then I just use the water for... What do I need it for? Rice fields, I guess. I could do a combination of fishing platforms and a few wild net fishing spots. Because I can have the nuke in this corner, right? So it'll provide energy for maybe five wild net fishing and then i'll just have to have a uh, more nukes to do the full energy i need for fishing platforms that's what i'm thinking of doing right now we'll actually see what i end up doing later that's that's probably enough roads I 
actually How much slumber do I actually need? Nah, I probably don't need that much. Good here. Oh, I think... I need oak wood eventually. This is way later on. I'm probably gonna like get rid of this oak storage anyways, but yeah. Might as well. Storage. I'm gonna put down my dragon for whenever I run out of gas. Oh. Update town offline, because obviously I'm gonna have this running all on um, all night. I'm not, I'm not gonna leave my computer on for this. I just want to give up on the uh, Faber Gamer says I just want to give up on the next comp and just so wasabi. <laughs> Something really easy, huh? Uh, I was telling people like just do... You could probably just do Gold Rush and maybe get top 1200. I don't know if anybody actually did that, you know? I still kind of want to do Sangria even though I don't have the... The Valentine stand. Yeah, it, strawberries isn't even that big of an issue in Sangria. I thought about doing bicycles as well because I can easily make the lights. But Sangria is like wood heavy. So I know the Hatchet Hank would really help with that. I don't think I've tried doing Sangria since I got the Hatchet Hank. I just don't know how competitive it is. But you know, just to make something that not everybody else is going to make. Like, I bet you all the top players are going to make sushi boats. But also, if they have the seaweed stand, I understand. Because sushi boats would be the way to go if you have a seaweed stand. I don't see any other way. But if you don't have the seaweed stand... There might be other options. I think for you it would be easier to Sangria as you already a pro with Wine Bottle Rush. Yeah, I think so too. Alright. Place down some trees. Oh, there's an ocean there. Ah, that's fine. Place down some oak trees. And two more trees over here. I'll do some regular forges. So I can make a bit more gold, I guess. And I could set up wine bottles, but I don't want to go that far with this. This is just going to be something very simple to make some cash overnight. If I need more cash during the day, I'll, I'll figure that out then. I don't want to take too long doing this. I need to put down my green box. Oh yeah, everything's out of whack. All over the place. I wouldn't even be surprised if the competition does get cancelled since people can't use their Express Depot or their Haunted NFTs. Because if they do find it, if they do find the solution, they're not going to push it out until Monday evening or worst case scenario, Tuesday morning. And that means nobody's going to have a chance to actually practice with some of their most important NFTs. Favorite gamer, you just need to make around 775 to 900 sangria to make one mil stars per hour. 
Is that even possible? That sounds way too extreme. Remember, favorite gamer, the, the problem with wine builds is the winery. The winery crafts wine very, very slowly. I guarantee you I can make over a thousand wine bottles per hour and over a thousand oak barrels per hour and probably even get the sugar to make a thousand sangria per hour. But I cannot make the thousand or 775 sangria as you say per hour because the wineries take way too long to actually craft the Cabernet Sauvignon and then they still take uh, more time to make the, uh, the sangria. That's the problem with sangria. It just takes too long to actually craft it. So I don't think you can pull off that much. Hi Viz, what's up? On Twitch, much smoother. That's good. Awesome. You know, I really realize this thing's not even... I'm not even zoomed in all the way. I thought I was. Why is that? There we go. Yeah, I think it's good. I don't know. Wasn't zoomed in all the way. Favorite gamer, I'm not sure how complex the wine stuff. Oh, it is the wine stuff. And if you received Minecraft bottle NFTs, I will help too. I mean, if we got that glass factory ghost card, that would have been amazing. Shame we didn't get it though. Shame. I hope they uh, release a blueprint for that one day. Would be nice. Oh, I should probably not make lumber. I'm trying to build these forges and then I'll go back to uh, common ground mode and sell my first stack of gold. Yeah, w once these are done, I'll just let this run. Not available. Oh, they're not even stars anymore, huh? They're also whatever this is. They got rid of the stars completely. No more town star, no more stars. Now... What do we call this? Points? We just calling it we're just calling it points, huh? I gotta change the picture on that in the town star playbook. I'm just gonna have to take a screenshot of it actually. Yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, I'll do that actually. Take a screenshot. Okay. Do that later. We got rid of our favorite star. Need to make the lumberjacks either closer to this place or just make more lumberjacks. Yeah, just place down more lumberjacks. Can't go wrong with a bunch of lumberjacks. overdoing it okay i need to make enough wood to get all the lumber like keep making lumber but also get wood for the forges that are gonna make even more gold that's the idea make a bunch of trees here.
Yeah, there we go. Bunch of trees. Saving the planet with all these trees. And the gold, too. <laughs> Cindy Sando, hello. Twitch is much smoother. Cool. I don't know what the issue is with uh, YouTube, then. waiting on these forges and I'm dipping from this going back to common ground mode clearing the game in one day Sydney Sando uh, also I was the favorite gamer on YouTube oh okay I didn't know that yeah I had no clue what that was <laughs> all right I created that account when I was 14 <laughs> okay Can't you rename them or something now? Or is that not a thing? I thought you could. I thought it's connected to like your Google account or something. sell this because I don't need it. Did I ever place on Mayhem? Oops. Oh shoot. I forgot to place it down. Okay. Well, I place it down now. Two more. Yeah, no problem. Uh, yeah, you can rename, but forgot that recovery email. Use for that. Okay, no wonder. Maybe I should build a bunch of. No, not. No, I'm not gonna make the builders, because now we have to pay wages for them all night. And I don't want to do that. I'll just wait on my two crane bots to finish. Did place down the dragon for whenever I run out of gas. In fact, I'm actually just going to use up my gas. Sydney, I gave my friends a build of 470 degree per hour and I screwed up mine and capped it at 525 with all the Miranda skins and a couple other boosts. How did you screw up yours? It seems pretty good. 470 without NFCs or something? Better than the one I made. Um, a couple months back. Yeah, I'm checking Discord, just like O-Town said. 
NFTs missing from casual play pretty much prevents us from putting together practice sounds for next week. I'm sure nothing will be fixed until late Monday or just before the competition. Exactly what I said, yeah. Unfortunately, that's probably true. I don't understand how they would like not how they would mess up with the with the old NFTs. Like what happened there? Okay, got the gold there. One more. And, uh... Yeah, just one more. I'm gonna get rid of my trade depot so I don't have to pay him all night. Get rid of that. I... Here's one more thing I'll do, and I'll just leave this running all night. I'm gonna make a bunch of lumber mills, and by the time I get back here, I expect them to be all full with lumber, and I'll use that to build or hopefully build everything I need. Or, yeah, I have to auto sell energy. So it doesn't fill up my diamond warehouse. I think that's the only thing I need to auto sell other than... Yeah, so this is all done. I'm gonna keep my crane bots. These will either get full with oak wood or lumber. Uh, actually, I could auto sell oak wood as well, I, I suppose. So, oak wood at 150. So, these should mostly just be full with lumber. Oh, and I gotta start making lumber again. That's right. Oh no, I was almost done. Let me refresh it. I'll probably go back here and finish up what I was trying to do, just put down the uh, extra lumber storages. Lumber yards, I mean. Hey Tofu! Is this your new build? What do you think is good now that the uh, stars have changed? I think it's still gonna be sushi boats, Tofu. I was looking at it earlier. It still seems like the way to go. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be... I'm planning to make a no NFT design. I haven't thought up of one yet, but um, right now I am just working on... I'm making a gold rush so I can collect cash to build it later. That's what I'm doing. And I'm also putting a bunch of lumber yards to collect lumber overnight. And I was almost done here, and then I'm going to go back to my... to the common ground mode. Yeah, sometimes I do this to just collect a bunch of lumber. Like, as much as I can. Uh, that, that, that'll be fine right there. Yeah. So yeah, this will run all night. Make lumber with this dude. He'll fill this one up first and then... The crane bots will start building these and they'll get filled up. You know, that's how it goes. And it's just gonna sell gold and... Excess oak wood and energy. And it's... Yep, it's running offline. Okay, that's all I was gonna do here. I'm gonna have to refresh it again, aren't I? Yeah, I'm gonna have to refresh it. Oh, you made a few tweaks on your Sydney. And that messed up and could be bothered fixing. I was tired of CP events. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you mess it up and it's just too tired to fix it. 
Should have given you that 470 bills for you to post for public event. But yeah, I could I could do that. You know, that was an idea I had at first. Um I can't remember for which competition it was, but Tantrum from our from the dub guild. The Townstar Guild, or I should call it the Common Ground World Guild now. Um, he shared a build with me, and I did end up sharing it in the video and giving him credit. I did do that once. I always thought I could do that more often. And somehow reward the people who, you know, who shared the build that I can share with the rest of the community. You know, something like that, like an idea of sharing somebody else's build. Let's go back here. 19 gold. And 20 wood. Okay. I can sell two batches of gold. We'll be making progress. This is my town, Tofu. I am... This is as efficient as I can make it. So let's go ahead and sell a batch of gold. And then pretty soon I'll sell another batch. And with that money, I'm going to buy two more spots and put gold panning sites on there. How long will it even take me to get 40 gold? I don't think this build will last like all night. I mean, I think it would take maybe two hours and my warehouse would be full, right? I think it would just take like two hours. Oh, I did get my money. Okay. Um. Hold on. I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So these all cost seventeen point five. Can I? Can I like awkwardly unlock a slot that's farther away? I want to do that for testing reasons. Obviously, I don't have 1.7 mil, but all these two rows right here cost the same. Actually, these also cost the same. Oh, okay. Let's see. Oh, I could place on a building here, but I want more gold panning sites. So just for testing purposes, I'm going to remove this one. It does let me. Ah, huh. strange. I want that. I'm just going to awkwardly have a gold panning site farther away. Uh, I, I could remove this one. I am going to remove two of them anyways. I just wanted to see if that was possible. So if you did have the money, you could clear up a spot from very far away. Hmm, interesting. Sydney, yeah, even just 100 gala as a reward for the ones who shared the build with you will still make them happy, I guess. As the reward for the comp is already less for anyone below 225. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Cool. Alright, well, I'm gonna make one more. Might as well do this one. Uh oh, did I break the game? Oh no! Something went horribly wrong, guys. Or do I just. Do, do I, can I not afford it anymore? What happened? I have the money to destroy it. Why can't I destroy it? I mean. Remove it, regenerate the soil, whatever you want to call it. Why can't I do that? Hey. Rachel, I tried to name my town October Fields, and I threw an error alert for profanity. Where is the profanity in that? Tofu or cake so good. I have some lag on my internet. Gold Rush so good. The gold Rush is great. For no NFT, even for NFT players. Decorated cakes are good. Not cakes or fancy cakes. I think just decorated cakes. Yeah, maybe I need to refresh. Let me go ahead and refresh it again. Because, uh, nothing happened. Okay. Refresh.
can workers walk through that? So that was a good question, Ivis. Uh, we're gonna have to test that out. If if it didn't go through, it might have already gone through. I assume they can walk through it though. I mean, why why wouldn't they be able to? That's a good question. I should have tested that. We'll see what happens. Oh, I didn't spend my money. Okay. Um, sure, Ibis. We'll see if they can walk through it. I'm sure they can, but you know, just for the sake of testing, I'll wait until this gold door is done. Where is my other gold? I need one more. Oh, they're almost done. Almost. I'm thinking I needed like another warehouse. Dang, three gold just like that. I could even sell my energy. Like, I should do the math. How long will it take for me to get 150 energy? Let me see. So it takes about 4 minutes and 51 seconds. Let's just say it takes 5 minutes just for the sake of making the math easier. Times 150. Divide that by 60. It'll take 12 and a half hours for this to fill up with energy. And then it doesn't give me that much money. Like 20k. Yeah. Better than nothing, I guess. Wood makes more money. <laughs> Funny enough. Yeah, the wood sells for more. Yeah, it doesn't make sense for me to sell the energy. Oh yeah, I wanted to see if they collect it. If I could tell Goldie to like not collect anything, that would be ideal. That way Mama Panner can collect everything. Dubs gold mine. There we go. That's what it's gonna be called for now. Dubs gold mine. Lagubhadru, hello. How much can people earn now? Hmm. The reward structure is you can check the Town Star playbook on the description of the stream. And the reward structure is on the competition page for the competition. Cool, so she did, um, I guess they can walk through the spoil soil, no problem there. Cool, alright, we, we tested that, so now we can unlock more spots. I'm going to need another green forge. Yeah, I am. Definitely am. I'm, I'm also going to need another warehouse. So let me clear up this spot. What do I make first, the green forge or the warehouse? Probably the green. I can have all five green forges running. And you know what? I probably don't even need more than four or five of these, but um what else can I make? Hmm.
I can't even afford a warehouse anymore. Not until I sell another batch of gold. I might do that before I go to sleep. Just like put in another warehouse here. I'll go ahead and make the gold panning sites. I thought it would take a long time to build stuff. I'm surprised they didn't extend the build timers. They only extended the craft timers. Rachel, they should sell gems to use for speeding up stuff. <laughs> they would make a boatload of money. I don't actually know if people will pay for that just yet. But it's something they can do in the future. Six gold panning sites. I think I'll end up with like too much gold ore, but whenever I get back on here, I can also sell the gold ore. So that's fine. I need another warehouse. I know I do. Like how... Where can I get, make a warehouse? Should I get rid of my trade depot? You guys think that's a good idea? I can build another warehouse here. I would have to sell with the dragon. So batch of 25 at a time. I should have put down the gold storage instead of the regular ore storage. Not to think about it. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna replace my ore storage with the gold storage. The rare one, it holds a little more. Ives, no, you can't sell anything then. Does the dragon work? I assume it does. Do you want me to test it? Like, do you want me to sell 25 wood? If, if I can sell 25 wood, then surely it must work, right? Because that's... The thing is, since you don't have auto sell, you don't really need your trading vehicle... You're trading vehicle on the town the while you're not playing. So like whenever I come back, I can just put the dragon and sell stuff and then take it off whenever I'm not playing. That makes sense. Same thing with the crane bot. I don't actually have to have it on here unless I'm building something. So really the crane bot and the dragon, like they could take up the same spot. I'm gonna sell gold ore. I might lose a gold ore during this. Fine. And uh, get rid of my gold storage. Gold ore storage. Gold. Spare gold ore storage. Okay, this one holds 60. That's why I wanted to place this down instead. Mama Panner's picking up two. Cool. Glad to see that works. Double the gold ore. I can sell 25 wood, Ivis, if you don't think the dragon works. You're right, though. If I get rid of the trade depot and, and like, the dragon doesn't work, I'm screwed. You are right about that. But I would like another warehouse spot. Because my warehouse is going to get full. And I kind of need five green forges for this rush. Yes. Five green forges, I know. I kinda need all five. JMR Leroy, maybe you only need to put down one forge. No, trust me. I need all five. <laughs> I make a lot of gold ore. I already know whenever I do this rush on the casual server, I end up with an excess amount of gold ore. So I do need all five green forges. Um, I, Let me do the math. How long does it take to make one gold? Let me see. All right, eight minutes, forty-five seconds. Let's just let's just say nine minutes for the sake of easy numbers. I can store forty. Three hundred sixty minutes. Three 
Oh, that's just with one green forge, by the way. I have five green forges. So let me divide that by five. My warehouse will be full in one hour and 12 minutes. Damn. I'm making too much gold for this. This is too much gold. It'd be nice if I still had the big warehouse. Before I go to sleep, I need to build like two of these warehouses. That way I'll be able to hold enough gold for like four hours. <laughs> Yikes, I make too much gold. Or like JMR says, maybe sacrifice some uh, forge just for another warehouse. You know what? Maybe I don't need to make wood right now. I could build two warehouses here. Three warehouses once I clear up this spot. Yeah, I need, I need to invest in some storage here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sell another batch of gold. I'm just going to build warehouses. I already have all the gold or panning sites that I need. Even if it means I'm not going to make wood overnight, that's completely fine. I probably don't even need this wood production yet. Hey, Express Super, it's not showing. Sunny, so, why don't you place your gold door storage NFT? Yeah, you're right. That's why I ended up doing that. Thank you. Uh, Sydney never really paid attention to the Diamond Warehouse NFT. It looks kind of funny. It does look kind of funny, actually. Uh, it, it used to look better on the old version of Townstar before they moved everything over to Godot. It used to have like a shine to it. Now it doesn't even have a shine, unfortunately. I was, I was more concerned if it even showed up since Expressy, but it doesn't. The dragon does show up. I was using it on casual. It works on casual just fine. Whoops. Wrong one. <laughs> Here. It, it does show up. So let's do it, okay? I I don't think I need wood production right now. The first couple of days I might just do gold. It's much easier. So I am going to get rid of my crane bot. Place down the dragon. And let me just sell a batch of wood. Shoot. Why did I do that? That's not that that's not what I was trying to do, my bad. It's all they used in the trade depot. I, I'm used to pressing R. I should have just pressed this. Whatever. What do you think, Ivis? You think I'm good just using the dragon? After I sell this next batch of gold. Let me ask on Discord. Has anybody confirmed that the dragon works in common ground mode? Before I get rid of my trade depot. Yeah, you think it looks good? Okay, cool. Well, I was trying to sell 25 wood with it. Now I would have to wait until I get like 25 energy. Uh... Oh, you know what I realized? If I leave this making energy all night long, I... Well, I already did the math. It would take 12 hours, right? But if my energy storage gets full, it's gonna start putting energy on my warehouses, and that means I have less space for gold. But like I said, it would take... 12 hours for my energy storage to fill up so it's not like um that shouldn't be an issue i'm gonna check this in less than 12 hours from now 
But yeah, I didn't think about that. Citizen X, it's on the board, but it might be a while before I can get 25 to test that. Yeah. Yep. I had 25 wood and accidentally sold 10 with Depot instead. And it would take half an hour to get 25 energy, and I don't... I'm probably not gonna wait another half hour. Oh, it's hopefully your computer's lagging. Oh. So you're doing wheat tofu. No, you're doing flour. That's right. Got your whole flour set up. Hey, tofu. So the shade doesn't do anything, right? Since you, you sent me a picture of your setup, just confirming the shade doesn't impact anything. So you can just have roads like this. Like you probably want the minimum amount of roads possible, Toku. So yeah, I only have three roads, although I'm gonna need to place another one over here so I can make uh warehouses. Cause I do want this running like all night making gold. Probably more efficient than making energy right now. How much does the warehouse cost? 11.2k fifty-one K. So I can build a warehouse here. Build a road here. Warehouse. Warehouse. Collect. Yeah, clear this. Build another wow. Four warehouses and clear one piece of land. Yeah, I can do that. That's what I'm gonna do. Four warehouses and clear one piece of land. Maybe five warehouses. Yeah, possibly five. Yep, I have a plan. I have a plan and I hope it works. I have to move everything later, but worry about that later. It doesn't have to look pretty right now, it just has to be efficient. The haunted houses are missing from the casual game mode at the moment for regular Tansar and Express Depot. Yeah, that's right. It seems like a lot of old NFTs are missing. The simplex sugarcane stands are missing, and so are the uh what was it fountains there you go jmr yeah fountains and simplex sugar game yeah i'm gonna get rid of my depot i hope i don't get screwed over i'm just waiting until i get 10 gold because i do need to sell a batch of 10 right now Tofu, yeah, probably, but we can't even place down the haunted porch because it's not in game. Even if you get screwed, you can build a new trade depot. Uh, I suppose you're right. <laughs> um, I don't have any issues with affording the trade depot. Thank you, Ivis. You got a point. For some reason, I, I forgot that was a thing. Oh, I got my gold. Okay. Yeah, let me sell a batch of gold.
flour, sugar, and salt stations, but I don't have those. But yeah, anybody who has a flour, sugar, and salt stations, they'll they'll be helpful here, I suppose. At, at least at the start. When you have a limited amount of space to work with. Alright, I got the money. We're focusing on storage now so I can have this running all night. And in the morning I'll collect like half a million, I think. Yeah, I'll, I'll collect half a million. I'll use all that money to buy the first two layers here. The cheap ones. Oh, not that rock. Just this first row and then these first two rows over here. And I'll expand the gold rush. I can only do five green forges. Well, I can do more, but it's very easy with the green forge because I don't need to make wood for for this. B Rob. Dragon, absolutely not. I can't have my express default. <laughs> right. Yeah, that would be the only option right now, just the dragon. Since it won't let you place on the Express Depot. Oh, that's right. Need the cream bot to build. That's right. Hey, so the wood is, uh, I'm actually going to be able to use it to actually build the warehouse. That's cool. That's right. No wood for Green Forge is huge for sure. Yeah. Helps out a lot here. I'm gonna turn off my wood production though. I'm just gonna replace all this with warehouses. Or as much as I can with warehouses. I am not even sure if I want to make energy, honestly. Like, I feel like I shouldn't worry about energy production yet. It's just wasting space. Yeah, 54 minutes per gold bar. That's some work. Uh, put my weed stand and windmill. Oh, yeah. With one ore site, that is. 54 minutes per gold bar? Where are you getting that number from? With one panning site? Does it actually take that long? That, that seems like too long. My gold ore takes three minutes. You need three gold ore, that's nine minutes. It takes like nine minutes to be robbed for gold ore. With one panning site. Right? No, sorry. Sorry, this is five minutes. I don't know what I'm thinking. My bad. B Rob, yeah, it's 18 minutes. Sorry, B Rob. It, it's five minutes for me. I couldn't do math for a second. You're right. It's like 18 minutes. Okay. 18 minutes. Um, if you have Goldie, it cuts a third. And I have Mama Panner, so I it's, I actually get two ores instead of one most of the time. It's 18 minutes per per gold bar, I believe. Since uh that since it's uh six minutes per gold ore. Yeah, it's a long time. Whatever, it's a long time. That sucks. Uh, uh whatever. Get rid of the trees, put down a road. Make warehouses. I can't believe I'm actually building like this many warehouses. I didn't. This is a new concept for me. I'm not gonna make any more wood. Build another warehouse. This is gonna look ugly, but it's gonna work. I'm saying mine is 18 minutes. Your gold door is 18 minutes? Are you sure? 
That doesn't sound right. Hold on. Hold on, B-Rob. You might be right. I forgot that the uh, Goldie reduces Minecraft time by 50%, right? Your gold ore is 18 minutes? Dude, what the heck? Goldie with Mama... Yeah, Goldie with Mama Penner, I think, reduces the craft time of gold ore by 50%, now that you mention it. Damn, that's insane. I didn't even... I didn't even realize that until you mentioned it. I don't think I put my skins on. Well, yeah, you want to put your skins on, for sure. I have skins, I have open corrupted packs, I have the Mama Panner with the Goldie, so I need one less gold door, and it reduces the craft time of gold panning sites by 50%, so you can see how overpowered this gets. I didn't, I thought 6 minutes was, 5 minutes was a long time, then you're over here telling me it's actually supposed to be 18 minutes. So, you're right, it would be 54 minutes for a gold bar. That is such a long time. But yeah, you're probably right. Can I make one more warehouse? I can, yeah. I think that's all I'm gonna do right now. Hold on. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna make the warehouse over here. That's fine. It'll work. So I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six warehouses so I can store 240 gold. I forgot how long it takes me to make. Five minutes? Nine minutes. Yeah, nine minutes. And uh, I make five gold every nine minutes. Hmm. So I can't even do the math no more. Make about 33 gold per hour. It would take about 7 hours for my warehouses to fill up. Yeah, about 7 hours. That's better than 2 hours, I guess. So by the time I check this in the morning, my warehouses will be full of gold. Okay. Can I, like... Can I put another warehouse? Oh, I don't have my dragon. If I sell 25 gold ore, I will be able to build one more warehouse. I think I'll do that. Panner, Panner family with the MVP again, yeah. For sure. Yeah, so that makes sense. 50% and build 10% for skins and packs. Yep. That's why. I didn't realize how big of a reduction it was. I hope there's more to it than this. For some reason, I did kind of expect it to just be this. But I, I do hope they add more to it. Because this does feel very simple. I, I wonder what the tutorial looks like. Because they said there's a first time user tutorial now. Too bad it doesn't show us. I think it would have been nice to show us anyways.
If I wanted to see the tutorial, I would have to like make a new account or something. I don't really want to do that. more gold ore. I'm over producing gold ore slowly. So by the time I come back, all my warehouses will be full of gold. Ore storage will be full of gold. I'll be able to sell all of that and make about, yeah, I think it was a million. Yeah, I think I'll be able to make 1 million cash overnight. Whereas somebody without NFTs, they would probably make like maybe 5k. Don't do the hello. Dub, I heard you was being a tryhard, so I had to see it for myself. Yes! <laughs> I'm doing good. How about you? Yeah, I am being a tryhard. You can tell. L look at this. Dub's gold mine. That's what I named my town for now. Because that's what it is. The uh, mom panner and Goldie moved in couple forges moved in we got gold panning sites right here bunch of warehouses yep that's the that's the whole thing it's literally a gold mine this is how it starts and i was gonna stop like an hour ago but <laughs> i'm trying to be as efficient as possible right now uh, i just realized that i'm gonna need storage because my warehouses will get full in like two or three hours so now i'm making a bunch of warehouses if i make one more warehouse i should be good for nine hours we're about nine hours so i'm waiting on one more gold ore so i can sell a batch i will stop making energy and i will make um another warehouse the diamond warehouse nfc here is very clutch. The amount of storage that this gives you is actually going to be helpful for this. Yeah, since auto sell isn't a thing. I'm not going to make energy, I'll just... I'll make energy another day. Still waiting on... Oh, there we go. Got the gold ore, so let's see if the dragon works. Seems like it works. Yeah, it works. Where do I build the warehouse? I could build it right here, actually. Build the warehouse here, then put down the green forge back here. Seems like a plan. That way I can, I guess I can keep making energy. Doesn't sell for much, but it's kind of hard to make. I can't imagine how long it takes to make out a wind turbine. Like half an hour for energy. It'll take a whole day just to get 48 energy for a uh, free to play. Well, nah, you can you can just make a bunch of wind turbines. True. Like put four wind turbines.
Hi, Biz, while you are cruising, I'm over here trying to do milk and failing in this game mode right here. Yeah. Um. So you got the milk in FC, right? You could probably could do a really good milk rush if you had the right NFTs. Let's see, you would need Fancy Cow, that Thra NFT, the Wheat Stand. You would need to build a feed mill. You would need to build a rancher, but you could use feed bots to actually grab the feed. You would need a storehouse NFT. And if you have all that, I think you could just start up with doing milk really quickly. Farhan, is there any reward for Common Ground World? If you mean the Common Ground game mode that I'm playing right now, there isn't any exclusive reward for doing this. There's going to be daily challenges, but you can, in the future, but you'll be able to do those in any of the game modes, competition, casual, or Common Ground mode. Those daily challenges are going to be for, like, the daily earnings. Like the ones they used to have. I is well I got fancy barns but no point in more than one got a wheat stand got milk storage waiting for many for the oh yeah milk storage I forgot yeah you could just use that instead of the storehouse but yeah you wouldn't need to there is a throw throw nft but I assume most people don't have that so yeah I, I understand why you would have to build it okay so I need to turn this off all right Build another warehouse. Can't go wrong with too many warehouses. That'll be my seventh one. All right, gotta put down the crane bot. Sea money is the trade depot like a Tesla or something? Does it use batteries? I guess so. I mean the. The uh, the trade depot doesn't use any gasoline for the common ground game mode. They don't want casual players to worry about gasoline and running out of it. They also don't want casual players worrying about wages. So that's, that's why those two things aren't a thing in this game mode. All right, I can get rid of my witch. I think I can get rid of my witch shed. I, I know I could make another warehouse, but I think that would be overdoing it. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm good. With what I have, I am good. I'll get rid of this witch shed and put down my green forge. And there we go. We're set. Got my green forges, gold panning sites, a bunch of warehouses, energy production. I'm not doing wood or lumber production right now. I feel like it's a waste of space. I don't need to have my dragon here, but I, d I have no idea what else I can do with this spot. What can I put there that doesn't require a road? That would benefit me in some way. Because I can't think of anything. Yeah, I have no idea. Nope, I have no idea. Nothing I can do with that spot. So it's just 10 of something to sell now in this game mode. I mean, if you're using the trade depot, yeah, just sell items in batches of 10 at a time with the trade depot i i decided not to use the trade depot i rather use the green dragon um because that way i can move it 
Yeah, that's pretty much the only reason, to be honest. Just so I can get rid of the trade depot. I didn't want it in that spot. Because it was right next to a road. So I just got rid of it and just used my green dragon inside. Even though I would have to sell in batches of 25. Which I'm going to go ahead and sell these batteries. I'll make more overnight. It's going to take 12 hours to fill this thing up. So I, I, I'm... <laughs> I'm not worried. I'm going to make more energy. Uh, the, the cash that I get from the energy is almost nothing. But yeah, that's it. I did everything I could. I'm happy with the way I started up. And one day, I'll clear this whole thing up and we'll see what happens. <laughs> I've been going for two hours. Meadows are 21 minutes? Damn! That's with your NFT, huh? That's with the Meadows NFT. Yikes. Five minutes per feed. Yeah, that's, uh, that's crazy. You know, what What about Feed Rush? I didn't even think about Feed Rush. Feed Rush might actually be viable. And you don't need a dragon for Feed Rush. I just realized that. I should have mentioned this sooner. If you have a wheat stand and preferably a feed bot or two. Nah, maybe you just need one feed bot to be honest. If you have a wheat stand and a feed bot, you should really consider doing feed rush. That might actually be very good money. Usually the reason why feed rush is not viable is because you cannot sell fast enough. But in this game mode, the trade times are still the same. Everything else just takes longer to craft. So I think feed will actually be a viable way to make money. But you uh, you need to have a wheat stand. That's the only way it's going to be a viable way to make money. You don't need a feed bot. It's just nice to, nice to have. You could just use the regular rancher. Yeah, that is genius. Yes, do a feed rush. Would actually be very good money. Uh, gold rush that I'm doing is still better, but it's it's easy to set up a feed rush. <laughs> Rachel, dang, I wish I thought of that. I should have thought of it sooner. It didn't cross my mind until now. That's right. Feed would actually be a very good uh, strategy. See money, does this map reset or is this more permanent game mode? This is a uh, permanent game mode. It's, it doesn't reset. There shouldn't be any reason why you would have to reset it. And it would take a long time to clear this up. Yeah, maybe I should make an announcement telling people. I just might reset my town. This is taking forever for milk. Well, you gave it a shot, I suppose. But yeah, somebody should give uh, the feed rush a shot and let me know how that goes. Because in, in my mind, that that's what I would do. Not that I thought about it. If I didn't have a gold rush, which I do, so I'm doing gold. Alright. Oh, you would need to build the feed mills, right? That's the only thing. Yeah, you would need to build the feed mills. That's right, the feed mills and the thraw. Um, then you could do a feed rush. You don't need a storehouse... Because it gets stored here. Yeah, it would still be pretty good. Because you craft it very fast. I, I think it would be very good. Don't need to worry about trees or anything. Alright, well that's all I got. <laughs> Appreciate everybody coming by and hanging out and watching me play this. Uh, my first impressions, it's okay. Uh, it is kind of what I expected, but I do want more than just this. I hope they add more than what, what what's being offered here. But this was fun to figure out. It, I, to me, it feels like a puzzle trying to make this as efficient as possible. So I can get, make as much money as possible. That's the goal here. Making money to restore all this land. And it, yeah, just play efficiently. Don't... I don't feel like I'm competing with other people, so it's my pace, but I try to do as good as I can here. <laughs> Maybe one day it'll pay off. We'll see. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks for all the info. Of course, no problem. And I already have my gold rush set up for casual and make money for that. And I'll work on a no NFT build over the weekend. 
so yeah appreciate everybody hanging out as always thank you for your support thank you so much and thank you for watching bye bye and have a good night or good rest of your day wherever you are bye bye <laughs>